So, uh, this was supposed to be a simple project. I was going to be fixing a cipher note, well, ciphering note between uh, two notes. Um, and what I did is I went out, I went to get my soldering iron or my, my torch and just melt a little bit of solder in between the two um, brass nipples to solve the problem. But unfortunately, about 17 other nipples came off with it. Um, so I did some research and I figured, found out that um, what you need to do is you actually need to um, sand the inside of the tracker bar, get the remaining solder out, um, and clean up your nipples as well. I've sanded them and um, I'm about to just wipe everything down with a damp cloth. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some toothpicks, break them in half, like this one, um, and stick them in the face of the tracker bar so that they're sticking up as a post for the nipple to rest on. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some drywall compound um, and cast that as a mold on the top so that when I go to solder everything it should be nice and rigid and the solder should just flow in between the joints without everything moving and falling off. So I'll come back when the um, mold is cast. Right, so here's the first coat of drywall compound. Um, as you can see everything is sitting in there quite nicely. Um, I've spaced it with my probe here. Um, I especially like the fact that uh, it's got a, a blade on it because that enabled me to chip away a lot of the old solder and uh, it allowed me to, if I just stuck it in between two of the put, two of the nipples I could just turn it and it would increase the space between them. So, there we go, I'll just wait a few hours for this to dry and come back and put a second coat on maybe and hopefully I'll be able to solder it all up then. Okay, so here we are, uh, back day two. My uh, drywall compound has hardened, completely dried, um, and I've gone ahead and put my flux paste on uh, on on the tracker bar, and I'm about to attempt soldering. This could be a, a very successful uh, solder or it could be a complete failure. I'm hoping it's the first. Um, so either way you're going to be here to witness it and uh, this could be something very historic today. Let's find out. I have my self-igniting butane torch, sorry propane. Um, I'm going to use a pretty short flame because I want to heat a local area and don't really want to heat the whole thing, so I'm just gonna try and heat everything evenly, just so that we uh, I think I might have put a little bit much solder on, so maybe I'll wipe that off. Um, flux, I mean. Or, you know what, I'm just gonna boil it off, it's okay. So, some of the solders float in. I think that's a good sign. 
going to add some more. Just got to be sure to douse my um, toothpicks when they ignite. Oh, okay, great. I, I really hope you can see this. The solder is flowing into the joint and it's looking really very nice. I'm um, just going to make sure this joint is really nice and properly filled. You know, I think I'm just going to add a little bit more solder because I don't think we can be have too much solder here. Sort of like having a birthday cake. <laughs> Okay, that's my cue to turn this off. Okay, so here are the toothpicks that I was using in the bottom. They're um, nice and charred up. Just gonna, gotta try and get a view of this solder. I think it went very well. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, and, uh, there we go. Uh, soldering with toothpicks and drywall compound. And here's the finished product. Worked out very nicely. Just polish up the front a little bit and we'll be ready to go.